the early ages of Earth, long before the first Indian plain. We were proud, intelligent animals living high up in the clouds. We were fighting for our totem, a no warrior spirit that summons us to defend his rights, his freedom, and his honor. Ruthless times, forced by them, the three great Manitous, makers of the sky, brothers and sisters of the stars. Amarok, Koahoma, and Itomi. I've always shown respect to my totem. They were dragged here, compelled by this madness, enduring death and revival over and over, hoping to gain the great Manitou's favors. The Blue Player's army is finally able to meet the Red One and the fight begins. It's actually quite interesting that he decided to go on crowd control thanks to the Bisons, as the Red Player's army is full of eagles, masters of it and run. Eagles are performing a short glide to escape from the Squirrel Pack who does so many damages around him. Oh, and their positioning now allows the bisons to blind them. Eagles can't hit anymore. They are impaled on the bison's horns as these ones are charging them. But the red player doesn't care. He is landing a storm with his frog and enemy squirrels have no choice to run for their life. Eagles can bypass him, avoiding being hit. They are re-engaging with a short glide into the middle of a fight. The red player is winning this. He is crushing his opponent. But in the end, it was an endless fight, an eternal circle. The great Manitou's were the wind itself, the storm that could punish us, the rain and the snow. Their changing minds shaped the clouds. Still, I've always shown respect to my totem. <laughs>